眼前的坦克在帐篷区来回碾压。那个血淋淋的血，不知道逃的，我的包也没找到。非常感谢星期天大家都到这里来。星期六。星期六都到这里来，而且还是一个书店，我感觉到非常舒服这个地方。但是 ，sorry， 我选的这一段可能会让大家的下午茶喝的不是太太舒服。大概东面的同学们开始撤离了，人群乱叫着拥向阶梯，上千人一下子在那儿挤成一团。m a j a n is certainly one of the leading contemporary. Chinese writers of fiction.、Um, he's a dissident. He's an exile, but、uh, he's above all a completely individual voice who I think can't be fitted into any particular school or movement. Thousands of students were still packed on the lower terrace. There were loud screams as people were knocked over and trampled underfoot. A few students who were being crushed against the balustrades at the edge of the terrace climbed over and jumped off. I watched tanks driving back and forth across the nylon tents in the north, and wondered whether the boy I'd seen writing out his will had escaped. I never found my backpack. The thermos cup that Guyo bought me from Shenzhen had presumably been flattened by now. Uh, this book, of course, was described. 在一九八几年，中国发生了一个很大的一个学生运动，然后这个学生运动变成了一个追求民主的一个运动。我用了一个大学生，他在广场上被打了一枪，变成了一个植物人。当他醒过来的时候，发现他是唯一的一个带着记忆的一个活人，因为整个的社会把六四的历史全都给洗干净了。是这么一个小说，是关于。记忆和这个与集权社会抗争的一个小说。After 1989, did you always know at some level that this historical experience of, of such depth and resonance would inevitably find its way into your work? And how long did it take for the process of finding a form for this novel to reach completion? 我想，因为轮到我写的一个主要原因，还是因为我的哥哥，他摔成了植物人之后，我当时就感觉到在六四之后的大清洗，就是每个人都要从脑子里边把这个历史洗掉的时候，他是唯一保护了这个记忆的人。我是从这个角度才开始考虑到我来写。Two foreign journalists took flash photographs as more students began to file out towards the southeast. A band of plainclothes policemen, dressed like reporters, snatched the cameras from the journalists, twisted their arms back, and dragged them off into the bushes. One of my shoes had been pulled off during the stampede. I took off the other one and flung it at the battalion of soldiers behind us. They were forcing us forward, striking us over the heads with the butts of their guns as though they were driving out a pack of dogs. What is the difference between presenting a tableau? Of、uh, a sort of documentary history of the debate incident, the sheer, the sheer wealth and flux of it, and novelisation of it. I'm very interested in what precisely is the process of conversion from from what to what. 呃，这个资料收集，当然了，我差不多这十年时间一直在做这个工作。呃，差不多的学生领袖，我差不多有一半都跟他们认识，他们的性格。他们的这个说话的特点，他们讲到每个人说话的对这个历史的看法，我都我都有很多资料。我想历史很像是这个埋埋在土里的树根一样，而小说就是让这个这个树根长成一棵树，让我们可以看得到它是一个活的，它是一个有情感的。About three hundred students were still sitting on the south side of the monument, refusing to move. The soldiers and policemen surrounding them were kicking and clubbing them. I spotted Zhang Jiemen in the crowd. He stood up and waved a flag, but was quickly struck down by a rifle butt. Xiao Li appeared in front of me. He looked smaller. His eyes were red. His shirt was torn at the shoulder, and the skin underneath was ripped open. He was covered in dirt and blood. Chu Fa grabbed his arm and said, "Where have you been?" They killed Mo Sein. He replied blankly. 
I was right next to him when it happened. We were in the northeast corner. I think it's one of the most important novels of a big, with a big social theme to have emerged anywhere in the last decade, in fact. I think it's um, probably will be seen in hindsight as a statement, an event of the same order of magnitude as, for instance, the great novels resurrecting the memory of the Russian people under Stalinism by writers such as Solzhenitsyn. I think it's up there with a novel such as Solzhenitsyn's The First Circle um, or Cancer Ward as a, a making visible of suppressed histories, um, a documentary record of uh, what has been lost and what tyranny tries to forget, but also a completely fully realized fictional recreation of these great events through the prism and the framework of, a, of it, individuals who are intimately involved with them. It is a, a global novel of uh, enduring power and relevance. Do you think at the moment, 20 years after these great events, there is a hunger for democratic change? Or has the uh, wave of suppression and the diversion of people's energies into money-making, into personal prosperity, has that done its work and pacified the people? I think the biggest difference between the Western people and the Western people 也有一个误差，就是大家都感觉到中国人已经活得很好了，他们可能不需要民主了。我的观点就是，当呃一个穷的监狱咳咳跟住到一个富有的监狱，那当然一个富有的监狱可能住起来更舒服。但是集权国家有一个特点，它非常富有，但是它没有安全感。我的意思，中国政府的官员也没有安全感，因为你都有可能成为一个受害者。那我想，凡是从集权国家出来的作家，他本身有一种压力，这种压力就是他认为写作必须获得自由。无论无论他活在哪个国家，他在他的这个语言里边如果没有自由的话，他会一直在反抗，这是这是一种责任。这种感觉是不一样的。那个国家虽然充满了政治，但是你会感觉到，这种，呃，在这种政治的国家里面，作家可以找到自己描述的那种语语言的方式，因为我并不知道别的语言该怎么写。